Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my game, it's almost like Guitar Hero. So the basic principle is that these cart dispensers put out cart on rails that move here, and you shall push these buttons to extend these two pistons to make the cart go this way instead of this way. So let's see how it works. Or let's try to play one. Uh, we can play it easy, normal, or hard. Let's try try hard. As you can see. It's quite hard. This is harder than I thought it would be. There, I won. So when you win, rockets fly up here. But if you lose, arrows will be get shot at you. And you might die. So let's see how this works. Here's the three buttons on the other side. They switch this toggle switch and put a signal to this bundle cable to these timers that send signals of different rates to this randomizer so this is the east one it has a 3 second delay this is normal, it has 2.25 and this is hard, 1.5 those signals go to the randomizer but randomizes what is it, uh, five different numbers on this side, or five different states on this side, and three on this side. These three will get moved back uh, here, so we go through the system again. It will make a little delay between the cards. And then the signals get inverted these nut gates and these pulsers gives one sh short pulse to 
these cart dispensers. And when the cart gets out here to the rails, these uh, detector rails light up the lamps under the rail. And then the cart flies out here. And if you miss us, the cart will go down here and get picked up by this cart dispenser that will uh, move the cart back to the original place. Move it back here. So it's a loop. But the, red the detector rail here creates a red signal to this counter with this 10 counts, increment 2 and de decrement 1. So when it gets a signal here, it will decrease this by 1, so it gets one closer this way. This is the losing side. So if you lose, the signal will go through here up here to this state cell that is set to 6 seconds and this NOT gate will uh, invert the signal so this timer is only on when the state cell is on and the timer is set to 0 0.2 seconds and th the timer is hooked up to a uh, toggle gate and it will toggle these three dispensers that will shoot arrows at you and it will also get through here this pulse former to this black wire up to this state cell that goes to this not gate that starts this timer here that's increments this one two times so it's get uh, to the four number four here or four of state and the signal will also travel through this not gate through this um, what are they called um, pulse former to this counter here and decrement it by 10. So it will reset this one and this one to their starting states. Now can we, fo we can follow the cart if it would have if we would have hit it. So it would have flown back here. Then the cable or the cart will come here and get a signal to this white oh let's fix this to this white cable here and the signal will travel through this bundle cable back here up here to these different note blocks so the, the number one white will set off this note block and it also go here and s get a pulse down here to this counter and increase it by one and it will also go through this cable here to this AND gate then the counter is at ma its maximum at 10 it will send a signal through this cable to these randomizers that will start blinking these lights. And that signal will also go to this AND gate. So when you get a cart through and the lights are blinking, this counter will count. This is the one that determines if you win or lose, or at least if you win. 
so it will count up to 10 and then it will get a signal through here to this repeater here to get uh, the dispensers to fire rockets and it will also get a signal to this buffer gate here that will reset itself and it will get a signal to this repeater that will reset these toggle gates and these AND gates make sure that the only one that can be reset is the one that they are used so the signal needs to go here and here and from here to make it switch And then there's this guy. It's a state cell that's set to 1.2 seconds. And it's to a NOT gate. So it will uh, only keep the timer running when the state cell is on. And the state cell is on 0 0.2 seconds. And um, these signals will get through here and go to this timer and reset it. So that's basically how this circuit works. I hope you un have understood some of that I have said, but I think it was really confusing. If you want me to make another video, leave a comment. But thanks for watching.